If you're new to the Digimon card game, the RB01 Resurgence Booster Set will be perfect for you. Okay, RB01 Resurgence Booster. Sorry, this took a little while because, yeah, my <clears throat> it took me a while to actually get a hold of this box right here. And I've been waiting and waiting and couldn't really find one any earlier. So, but anyways, excited to open this set. Like I mentioned, this is a really good set for like reprints and all that kind of stuff. So, especially if you're new to the card game, there's going to be a lot of like really good cards that you get to sort of um, see. If you guys can also check out like some of the best cards I talked about um, that are that I'm personally most excited for for this set, you can definitely... You know, check that out as well. But first and foremost, we get a box topper pack, which is like an alternate art of an existing card, mainly based on the Ghost Game stuff right here. We have the Jellymon, and yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. But mainly, I just can't wait to get into these packs. I definitely um, am really curious to see uh, how these kind of look. I've seen some of it um, already, like, there's really, really good cards to really talk about right here already, like with Greymon. Star Deck 1, I mentioned that this is one of the best uh, reprints to have. Even though this card has been reprinted so many times, still definitely nice for sure. Palmon, Xiaomon, Jack Raid, which is a really nice holo upgrade. We got Devimon, this one doesn't seem to be played as much. Uh, HPD right here, and holo version is kind of nice. So I think every pack just kind of goes through like a couple of reprints, and then towards the end is when you sort of get the RB1 exclusive cards, and this is the first Wesen Gammon which is a brand new card specifically for the set. Basically, Gammon support. We got Cow's Gammon, Nume Mon, and then we also got a new hero right here, which is definitely going to be needed for the Gammon deck if you're planning to play it. Uh, v Tamer Tai, a promo card, which is really nice, and starting off with the bat, right off with our, um, I guess, like, SR or textured hollow card right here. We have Nidhogg Mon in texture form. So really, really nice. Very good quality prints uh, for these cards, which is definitely nice to see. <clears throat> and that's basically how every pack kind of works. You know, you get like everything hollow and then you get one textured like higher rarity card in the end. We got Demi Merrimon here. Really good egg. Greymon once again, fantastic. Demi Vmon. Kaiser Nail. We got Kokaitis Breath. Numimon. Uh, Kano Weissmon, or Kano Weissmon, a new one, which is kind of neat. Thetismon, part of the Jennymon line. We got this new Agumon right here. Not really new. This one's kind of interesting because this is a RB1 Agumon, but it actually is just the same as the promo Agumon. Simple and heritable of your turn while this Digimon has Greymon its name. You get extra 2000 DP. And you guys can see with here with a special text. It says card number is also treated as P009. So you can't have like duplicates of those. This essentially counts as that exact same card, <clears throat> which is very interesting. I wonder why they did that. We have Karamon right here, a promo, great reprint, and we have Omnimon Zwart, one of my personal favorite cards of all time. And at first I thought it was just going to be like exact same SR as before, but with the texture upgrades on it, definitely gives it a much nicer touch. And I really like the direction of how Bandai is going towards with this uh, when it comes to uh, reprinting some of the stuff. So it's nice. It's different. You can differentiate between the older one and the new one as well. And that's that's good. That's that's honestly just really good. We have Weedmon, Palmon, Salamon, Upamon, Siakomon, ADP. Uh, we got a Gulus Gammon or Gullus. Gulus or Gallus. Um, and then we have Battle Gammon as well. Jellymon, Vmon. Uh, Dioboromon, and right here we got a Magna Angemon, and which is definitely a nice reprint for sure because this card is pretty, uh, was pretty high in price at one point, but now with th thanks to this reprint, makes it a bit more accessible for those, uh, especially one who play like Mastamon. Well, any angel related deck uh, is certainly a good card to have. Okay. Labramon. It's really nice seeing all these like hollow versions, hollow upgrades of like non hollow cards that we got. SB Mon, Theus Mon, Rise Greymon here, Oak Force Vigimon Zero, and we got a 
Omnimon Blitz. Once again, fantastic texture right here. Matching with our playmat today as well in the background. Really, really nice. Yeah, Blitz Omni. Definitely a very nice, uh, sort of like staple-ish card for like red and blue decks. So, a lot of cards are still really good. Nice, for sure, to get to see. Uh, Kokata's Breath as well. We, we saw a couple of those already. Agunimon, maybe not so much these days, just because we got like newer hybrids, um, which can digivolve for two with like better effects, kind of. Tapermon, Weedmon, Salamon. We got Gammon right here. Gulu's Gammon once again. We got Simbare and Goromon, or Simbar and Goromon, Upamon, Amphimon, and a Red Memory Boost. Once again, I think. Because I remember the original memory boost, they do have textures on them, but I believe this texture is a little bit different than the original. I'm not entirely sure, but this is definitely a very nice reprint, uh, 100%, that I'm happy to be getting. Like, this is a really good staple, for sure. Kind of spoiled there at the back a little bit, so sorry about that, guys. The packs weren't really working with me. Demi Merimon, Chumon, Pyomon, Angoramon, Gurimon, Sora and Joe, Demi Devimon, and we have a Craniumon right here. Once again, fantastic texture. So on a side note, I was a little bit thinking like to myself, like, you know, my you guys may know about like training cards that are coming in BT14. I was gonna say like it might be nice if those were actually in here to make it like this set uh really, really like worth it. But that's just my own personal opinion. Koromon, definitely a nice egg to have for sure. Demi V, Upa, lots of great eggs. Ultimate Flare, Chu, Lobo, uh, Lamort, Guri, Kyo, Kyoshiro, Pulsemon, and a blue memory boost here as well. Yeah, really good staples once again. And like I said, speaking of staples, it'd be kind of cool if they did include the training cards. I think not only it would just like be just an interesting take where like we get training cards earlier. But also, like, it makes it a little bit more accessible. That's, yeah, who knows. Uh, but regardless, I believe we're getting the training cards uh, as a BT14 box topper. Wesen Gammon, Monzaemon, Palmon, and we have a Lilithmon. Also textured. <clears throat> Been playing around with Lilithmon recently. Uh, so, really cool stuff. With the whole, like, Mill Lilith. As well. Blossomon, Siako, Toyagu, ADP, Gabu, Holy Flame, Tesla Jelly, Kaos, Wezen, V, Hero, and a Yellow Memory Boost. Now I have a feeling that we can probably pull like one of each Memory Boost uh, color inside just one box alone. Maybe maybe they're actually seated that way. Who knows? Guaymon once again, I'd definitely be happy to take more of those. Koromon as well, definitely need some of those. Izzy, Ruli, and a Rise Greymon here too. <clears throat> Kaiser Nail, Chumon, HPD, Terrier, Jelly, Angora, Battle Gammon, Sora, we're a Guru on promo, which is only down to one now instead. But still a good reprint to increase the uh, accessibility. You can still play one of, so having one is nice. Green memory boost. So we are, I, I guess I am jinxing it a little bit. We are going to see one of each of the memory boosts eventually at, at this point, really, huh? Terrier, Kokaida's Breath, HPD, Ultimate Flare, Holy Flame, Xiaomon, Lamort, Kaos, Nume, Tane. V Tamer Tai and our second Nidhogmon here. Okay. Now I kind of thought like they would be usually in boxes like you would get like one of each of the SR. You're not you know you're not very likely to pull double same double same of the SRs. But I guess again this is a very different set, so who knows? Uh, but hopefully, hopefully we get to see some of the newer cars. Canal Weissmon, Gulu's can. Gamma, Simbore, Black Gatomon, Uver, Aerovigermon, and a Hover Espimon right here. No major hits yet, because I believe there should be Altarts, like, guaranteed inside. 
Weedmon, Devi, Shade, Guni, <clears throat> Numei, Canalis. Uh, Regulus Mon right here, which is really, really cool. One of the most, yeah, one of the cooler cards that I'm definitely looking forward to, to talk about and to, like, see with, you know, adding it into, like, the whole Gammon deck. We have a lot of new Gammon tools to play with. And speaking of which, you guys can actually already see my uh, first draft deck lists of the Gammon deck, Jellymon deck, and Goromon deck, which I posted in the Evolve Club membership already. So if you guys haven't done so yet, be sure to join because you guys get to see full deck lists and first drafts. And shortly, you know, the video is going to be coming soon as well with the whole guides and everything. And then, of course, further updates. So once again, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to join the Evolve Club. We got Aero Vigimon Zero and Black Memory Boost. And of course, for those who are interested to see the video, definitely give this video a like and be sure to subscribe. Turn on that notification bell, most importantly, so you guys stay tuned as soon as the deck profiles and the gameplays and all that kind of stuff come out. So stay tuned for that. Patamon, Lobamon, Simbura Agoromon, Chaos Gammon, Gulus once again, Mimi, Great Reprint, Garurumon, and a All Force Vigimon. Now, this one would be one of the cards that I kind of question why it was going to be reprinted. Yeah, this card is not really going to be seen play at all, but maybe they kind of took data from a long time ago because I believe this older All Force was kind of like meta relevant when BT123 was, uh, were out back in the day. Who knows? Blossomon, ADP. Greymon, HPD, Xiao, Devi, Thetis, Bosa, Kaos, Tai Kamiya, and an Amphimon promo, which is really nice. And we have a Dearbit Mon SR Altart right here. Really, really nice stuff. Blocker, when digivolving, when attacking, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. Then if your opponent has no suspended no unsuspended Digimon, gain one memory. End of your turn. Uh, one of your Digimon with Angoromon is text. May attack an opponent's Digimon. Which discard itself too, basically. Okay, that's our first alt art hit of the box. Hopefully we can see another one. That will be really nice. And of course, if you guys want to see Dearbutmon and Goromon deck, definitely be sure to stay tuned. We're going to be working on those coming out real soon. Guri, Thevis, TK, All Force Vigilmon Zero, and... Oh! Oh, we have an Arcturus Mon. Wow, it looks fantastic. Really cool stuff. Love the artwork. Wow, we already pulled our second alt art. Wonder if we can still get another alt art. That would be really sick. Wow, really, really, really excited. Again, like fantastic, nice looking card. Textures, background, artwork, design. This is, man, I'm just so excited. I'm, I'm, I'm just really excited to play these decks. Can't wait. <clears throat> Jack Raid, Terrier, Labrapata, Kaidas, Battle Gammon, Angora, Lamort, and Jewelmon, Postmon, and we got a Serious Mon. Wow, back to back. Gammon deck is definitely coming in strong. Wow, this Serious Mon is really cool looking. Definitely needed for the deck for sure. Just really admiring the artwork. Love the slash, love the textures on it. Wow, fantastic card. Really happy to see this. All right, ADP, Blosso, Siako. Yeah, the you know the first few cards are pretty much like mostly seen already. Gamma Mon. I was gonna also talk about like you know having another serious Mon. It's nice that they include these promos in there because I believe in the Japanese version they weren't kind of included to begin with, unless they were dot box toppers instead in a different set. But of course, this serious Mon is also pretty neat, pretty nice to have for the deck for sure. Not as nice artwork compared to the actual cover one which we saw purple memory boost we saw a black memory boost we basically gone through every single purple uh gone through every single memory boost color by then uh, by now probably i'm pretty sure i've seen six already so really cool stuff goonie taper jelly gamma sb uh graymon right here this one has that very similar uh situation with that agumon which we saw earlier this is originally a promo graymon uh, the one that has the exact same effect as this one. So, you know, with that text, you you know, it's also treated exactly the same. So you can't include, like, multiple copies of this, even though this has a different code, being RB1007. Again, I don't know exactly why they did that, but that's interesting. We got Hero. I believe this was a tournament pack from before, uh, because it's a promo, not RB1 exclusive. So kind of nice. And once again, Omnimon, Omnimon. Love Blitz Omni, honestly. Ooh. 
Labramon, Chu, Terrier, Aguni. Yeah, we see most of these already. Nothing really new. Nokia, kind of not really seen as much play as before anymore. Dearbitmon right here. And we got a Lusamon too. Lusamon's going to be getting some support potentially we're gonna know that you know, we don't know for sure but you know we kind of we kind of can tell because there's you know all the different forms and all the you know evolutions it still has to go through uh so hopefully those come into the card game eventually so you know and maybe this card will become relevant once again uh but also you know i kind of like covered like a lucimon control deck sort of recent ish uh so definitely check that out as well okay two Blinding Ray, Dear Bit Mom once again, and a Red Memory Boost. Yeah, we pulled one earlier. Are we just gonna cycle through like another set of every color? That'd be pretty funny. But yeah, I mainly do want to see just the newer cards. New cards would be nice. Flame Angora, Lamort, SB, Mega Dramon, Kyo, and a Yellow Shine Gray here. Once again, fantastic texture, really thought out. You know, you can see the pattern shimmering at the back, too. You know, really, really, like, shining shine, you know? Really cool stuff. Alright, this is the last pack of the box. So. Shadramon. Kaiser Nail. Blossomon. Siakumon. Toyagu. ADP. Gurimon. Numemon. Kanoise. Padamon. Wear Gar, and we're finishing off with a blue memory boost here. So if you guys do want to learn more about this particular RBO One Resurgence Booster set and all the best cards that are particularly from this box, definitely check out the video right here and watch it right now if you haven't done so yet. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the deck profiles and all the gameplay guys with all these new decks coming soon. And yeah, definitely subscribe, turn on that notification bell if you haven't done so yet. As always, you guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. See you in the next video. This is Vault, signing out.